situation in the hands of God. And overall, what is more important is that we as a people realize that it is the hand of God that will move so that this situation is brought to a solution. I will read from Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. My people are destroyed from lack of knowledge. Because you have rejected knowledge, I also reject you as my priests. Because you have ignored the law of God, I will also ignore your children. Teachers, you tonight are those who have decided to stand are those that have decided to take upon the call of your ministry because teaching is more than just a profession it is a ministry and we go beyond the call of duty to ensure that the right thing is taught to our children the valuable lessons that have been shared in the ground comes to an extent that we realize that those teachers that have not joined us have not heeded their call of duty have not heeded the word of God when it says that we must embrace knowledge and if you ignore it then God will ignore you when the time comes God will ignore you when the time comes. He will close the doors and say, So what happened when you were supposed to stand up for the weak? What happened when you were supposed to be leaders of a nation? So tonight, I congratulate you first of all for being here. And I would like to remind you that no matter what the situation may be, we know that whatever stands against us, we have a God in which we have placed the situation and He stands with us. Proverbs 4.27 says, Do not turn to the left or to the right. Keep your foot from evil. It so happens that if we start looking to the left and we start looking to the right, we will notice all that they're saying, all the scare tactics, all the difficulties that they pose to us. But if we remain steadfast and look forward, we know that none of this will cause any effect to what we are fighting for. So teachers, tonight we embrace knowledge. Tonight we show that we're fighting for what is right. Take your ministry up to the streets. Talk to those that need to be spoken to. In Benke, we reached to the far areas and we saw the poverty. Our hearts were touched because we saw the poverty in which our community, our people are living. But this is an important Listen, and in the spirit of the critical theory of education, we learn that we are also being students because we see what our country is going through. Acts 20.35 says, In all things I have shown you that by working hard in this way, we must help the weak. And, they will remember, and remember the words of the Lord Jesus. How he himself said, It is more blessed to give than to receive. So the word of God is clear. We must do what is necessary, one, to promote knowledge and disseminate ignorance. Two, to remain steadfast. Because even when they try to deter us, we know that we have a God that is with us. And three, to champion the weak. And tonight, teachers, you are the champions of the weak. Thank you very much, San Ignacio Branch.
My beloved hometown, let's keep the fight and let's stay in solidarity.